to be active. Don't wait what they do, the opponents, you know. We decide what we want to do in our game, that is the main thing. And to do that, you have to have the ball. Pep Guardiola, the man who ruined football. Well, let's talk about that exactly. When Pep came onto the scene, he was at Barcelona. He was described as the next Cruyff, a genius mind. And he was clearly a disciple of Bielsa himself. A lot of people who don't follow his career don't understand Pep's admiration for Bielsa. His press style is a lot based off Bielsa. You see a lot of the controlling of the game. And just because Bielsa never managed a top, top team, people never put him up there. But trust me, he's right up there. But this is about Pep. The man who took the ideas of all the geniuses before him and trans just transferred it into some of the greatest football we have ever seen. He has absolutely destroyed people. He has destroyed teams. He has made people pack up and go home. He has done everything he can and he's won it all. But how has he done it? Well, he's done it in a style where he completely dominates the ball. He doesn't let anyone else breathe. It is constant pressure. He pins you in high up your pitch. It isn't about keeping the ball for keep ball's sake. He will push it. He will move it. Constant triangles. They press in packs. No matter what you do when you play against a pep team, you are going to struggle. You need to be set up well. And that is where his great rival clock comes into it. Klopp was the last person in football, in my opinion, that truly had the ideas to break down Pep. And he played a complete different style because right now, Pep football is absolutely everywhere. No matter where you look, everyone is still trying it. Everyone is still doing it. Barca themselves have still been trying to recreate it for years. Bayern Munich with company, company a perfect example whilst at Burnley, trying to recreate Pep football. Maresca, Arteta is taking it to Pep right now. On Pep style football, this is based off Pep. Don't be fooled, Arteta is a great manager in his own right, but it's all based off Pep's ideas. Don't, don't be ever fooled, it is a clone of it. But Pep always has another answer. Every time you think you've got his sus, Pep knows how to develop football. We saw that in the treble winning season when they switched to the three back, playing John Stones into DM next to Rodri. And he has just created just so many ideas and a beautiful way to play football. Pep almost revolutionized the inverted wing back and then destroyed it and took it away. He doesn't really do that himself anymore, but let's quickly talk about Pep for one second, even further. Let's talk about how many matches had. He has had 853 matches. His win percentage, 72.8%. That is 621 wins in them games. But trust me, it doesn't get any better than this. And the fact that they averaged 2.3 goals a game. That is a ridiculous stat for Pep. And Pep, he is forever going at it. Pep has not stopped there. When you look at any of Pep's stats, he has always dominated, no matter where he's been. He has won the world's best coach three times. Could have easily won it more. He's a three-time Champions League winner, winning it twi twice with Barcelona and once with Man City. He has won the FIFA Club World Cup four times. He has won the Premier League in eight seasons. He has won the Premier League six seasons times only ever failing to win it twice his first year and obviously the famous year against Liverpool where they got beat by Liverpool after such a close run the season before he won three times in the German league with Bayern Munich he won the champion he won the Champions League as I said so many times so easily he has won the Spanish Cup he has won anything you want to say you wait for Super Cup four times Spanish League three times Pep is different Pep isn't the same as any other manager. Pep is all about winning, but he wins in style. That combination has never been done. When you look at it before, you had Jose, who just wins no matter what. It's all about winning. Or you had great style of football. They never really went hand in hand the way that he's doing it. And when you look back at his domination on English football, that's the scary one. For me, that's the one I worry about most. As an English, English person, English fan, you have to worry because what he's done since he's come here... 306 matches he's had in the Prem to date, 227 wins, 41 draws, 38 losses. He has scored 761 goals, only conceding 250. That is less than a goal a game, and as we said before, 2.3 a game to score. He has won the Manager of the Month 11 times, Manager of the Season 5 times, and to be honest, that could be forever. He could constantly do that. Pep has changed the way everybody sees football. He has changed the design of football. When you look at how Arteta has built his team, you can't tell me it's not built off Pep. He now plays four centre-backs, near enough, across his back line. I wonder who did that first. He dominates possession in such a way, but 
I wonder who did that first. He floods the box with wingers, driving fullbacks back, overlaps, people forcing on the inside, no matter what, slick little passes, constant pressure, not letting anybody out there final third. Well, I wonder who did that first. Pepper's forever done this and it all displays here. When Pep was at Barcelona, he averaged roughly over 70% near enough on his possession. He has averaged 65% whilst at Bayern Munich. But the most impressive for me in his eight seasons he's completed so far at Man City. In English football where it averaged absolutely no time on the ball. Your average time per player on the ball is so much lower when Pep arrived. But of course after Pep, it has gone up. Because when you look at Pep's done 67.24% possession per game is what he averages. It is insanity. 55% would have been one of the higher ones before. That is dominating a game and that has been one of the better teams. But Pep doesn't do this. And Pep doesn't do this for the sake of doing it. You saw Man United under Ten Hag and Man United under Van Gaal. You see when people try to dominate the ball, it doesn't just work because you've got the ball. It doesn't mean you win. But with Pep, it does. Pep will destroy you. They'll mentally break you. They'll go at your weaknesses and they'll flood the box. Cross after cross. Get into the byline, making you panic. You can't breathe and you're only really playing in a third of a pitch. But you're absolutely shattered. You're chasing shadows. Every time you're close to a Pep player, it feels like it's by design. You see his anger when he bursts onto a pitch and he's screaming at people and he's telling them, you haven't done this or you haven't done that. Of course, this is what Pep does. And it hasn't helped the fact that he's had some of the greatest players of all time. Let's look at some of his players, for example. When he was at Barcelona, <laughs> do we need to say any more? That team is flooded, with, in my opinion, three of the greatest players to ever play in La Liga. In Xavi, Iniesta and Messi. He had them all in the same team, let alone the other players he had around him. Thierry Henry, it's Eto, or whether it is, he <laughs> goes for Busquets and... Jordi Alba, PK, Puyo, Dani Alves. It's come on. It was never fair from the start. And he has got the stick of, oh, he has to spend loads of money. No, you spend a lot of money for Pep because you need certain types of players. Certain types of players that identify as Pep style players. Pep doesn't just take your average crap person and just turn them into magic. No, 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 no. Pep will take your good player and turn them into superstars. Let's look at Raheem Sterling. He was a pretty average player but under Pep he looked great he looked world class he looked like one of the best wingers around and then he leaves Pep goes to Chelsea and he just doesn't look great anymore I wonder why that is who you see leave Pep without a Pep say you leave Pep when it's Pep saying it's your time to go and you can look at all the great players he's let go that doesn't matter but you look at the great players I said he's had when he lost when he lost Messi he then went and got Kevin De Bruyne at Man City and he just turned him into the greatest midfielder the Premier League has ever seen. He is just an absolute merchant and he doesn't even play necessarily Pep style football. He runs with the ball a lot. He plays longer passes, but Pep's fit it all into a system so De Bruyne can do his best thing. He can be the star and the player he is and he's matched him up with players that play off that style. Just come on. Pep, yes, he has ruined football. Could we go on all day talking about Pep? Of course we can. But he has also made football an absolutely incredible place. The standard and the level of football we see of players that come through now, that's down to Pep. He may be the greatest manager of all time. We can argue that all day long. But what he is, he is the most revolutionary manager we have ever seen. And with that said, there's nothing more to be said. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you want to see next. Who should we look into? There was a Ronaldo Messi feature that pretty much on its way soon. See you then.